Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We are going to take a look at jQuery, which is one of the most exciting, cool things uh, about web design. It's very, very popular in web design, and, and it's very simple. So simple, in fact, that a lot of front-end designers, the people that actually do the drawing and designing websites, are learning how to use this stuff, and it's becoming a pretty vital uh, skill to have. Everybody, just about, is learning how to do a little bit of jQuery, uh, and it's so easy to do. There's really no excuse not to at least pick up and learn a little bit of it. And by no means, you don't, you don't have to go out and become a master of it, although if you do that's pretty awesome uh, simply put jQuery is just a JavaScript library that allows you to create all kinds of cool animations and effects and control your website in a way that formerly you could really only do with flash um, and, and there's a lot of flash like effects things that you look at and you say hey that's got to be flash wait no there's no flash player so it allows it to be to be played on a uh, mobile device for instance that don't support fl uh, flash player and it's a much lighter uh, experience there's not the, the files aren't as big it's not as complex and complicated and bogging the systems down so it's just a very very nice clean way to get very very cool effects uh, now you can go through and read all of the documentation and, and what exactly jQuery is I'm not gonna bog you down with all the technical jargon and all that nonsense let's take a look at some examples if you don't know what jQuery is capable of doing we're gonna run through a couple examples and there's so much that jQuery can do there's no way that I'd be able to show you everything in one uh, sitting unless that sitting was a very 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 long one so I've just got a couple examples here that I've pulled first up we have this navigation bar when I roll over we have these cool sort of drop downs that happen very very cool again no flash it's all so you right click no flash up oh, accidentally hit a link uh, next up we have this cool sort of cool built-in slider gallery reminiscent of the one that Apple uses on their site so very very cool again no flash we've got this image slider so it slides images back and forth and it jumps over images does some neat stuff and it's actually linked as well we have this other rotating image slideshow and these are just images right click so I can save image as right there boom and so it's doing this without flash so that means it's very easy to update again it's going to display on mobile devices the animation is going to be there a lot of really cool things that come out of jQuery and here we've got a much more complex image gallery we've got thumbnails happening we've got preloaders we've got captions we've got next and previous buttons a full screen option a list of galleries being able to scroll through our thumbnails not just the images uh, and you can see that the thumbnails are alive and moving And if I right click no flash we can even play it as a slideshow uh, I'm gonna pause it though I don't really want to do that so with jQuery there's a huge amount of stuff that we can do now here I just have this little uh, portfolio type thing I threw together it's basically just eight images and you can see I'm using jQuery so when I roll over images they sort of lighten up and basically I'm just using jQuery to target linked images when I drop an image into my website and I link it boom jQuery is instantly gonna grab that image and say alright this fade in effect is going to be applied to you linked image uh, so it's very very easy to use and it can be very widespread or very targeted much in the way that you use CSS so it's a really really cool uh, not such a steep learning curve kind of thing to go and pick up now we're not going to learn how to actually create this fade-in effect not in this tutorial I'm gonna save that for a future tutorial we're gonna learn what you need to know how to do to start using jQuery today and that is downloading jQuery and linking it to your HTML uh, page. It's very simple to do. Matter of fact, we're going to spend less time doing that than I've spent talking about what in the world jQuery is. So let's get started with that. We're going to go to the download section of the jQuery site. That's jQuery.com. Go to download and scroll down and we're going to find current release. And the current release is 1.6.2. We could grab the release notes if we like. I'm not concerned about them. Not right now at least. What I'm interested in is the minified version. That's what you want. So right click on that and choose save link as. And my little window is going to pop up and I'm just gonna save it right here to my desktop save great it's downloaded wonderful now what I want to do is minimize Dreamweaver alright here's our file right here on my desktop what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this into Dreamweaver so here we go we're in Dreamweaver and I've got this folder here called scripts I'm gonna drop it into that folder wonderful now here I have my HTML page it's gonna be HTML page a PHP page whatever something that's rendering your HTML for your browser to see and I want to locate my head tags so I've got my opening head tag right up here Whoop, there we go and my closing head tag here somewhere in there we need to create our link to jQuery so I'm just gonna add a couple lines here so I've got some space and we're gonna do just that so we're gonna do open angle bracket and we're gonna type the word script and next we need to define where our jQuery is sitting and we happen to know that it's over here in this folder called scripts now my HTML page is here so I can either manually link this or 
with the help of Dreamweaver, I can just latch on to it. So I'm going to use Dreamweaver's help here. So I'm going to type SRC equals, and then I'm going to go open quote, and Dreamweaver's smart enough to know, all right, you're looking for something, you're looking for the source of something. So I'm just going to choose browser. I'm going to select site root to make sure that I'm on the correct site. And here's my scripts folder. Double click that, and there's the jQuery file. I'm just going to double click that. And well, I'm going to hit OK. There we go. And you can see it's just punched in and closed off our double quotes. Now I'm going to hit space, and I just need to basically tell uh, what type this is. So I'm going to say type equals open and close double quotes, move within those double quotes. And I'm going to say text, nope, there we go, text slash JavaScript. And then I'm going to do a closing angle bracket, and then we need to close off the script tag. So I'm going to open angle bracket slash script closed angle bracket. And there we go. We have linked to jQuery. It's that easy. I'm going to save my uh, HTML file here. And if I go back to my page here and I reload, well, nothing crazy is going to happen. Matter of fact, because I got rid of my other jQuery code, um, all of these images just go back to being normal, regular old images. We haven't applied any jQuery effects. We've just given ourselves the ability to apply jQuery effects by linking to this jQuery file. So that's the very first step to using jQuery. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a thing or two. I hope you've sort of started wrapping your mind around what exactly jQuery is and maybe some of the cool things you can do with it. Uh, get yourself some ideas, get yourself worked up. Uh, go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Also, make sure you check out the Facebook fan page and the Tutvid Twitter feed. Follow me on both of them if you would. The links are in the description to this video. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you around later.